Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is a Bradford City versus Oldham Athletic vlog now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 150 likes on today's video that'd be massively massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers trying to hit that by the end of the year so if you could subscribe that would be massively massively appreciated make sure as well to get your post notification bell on so you never miss a video of when i upload but today it is the homecoming it's old at home the first time we've been inside valley parade at full capacity for a league game in well over 500 days it's the last the, the first time since we played plymouth at home all them well it's nearly two well it's about 18 months ago now when we played them i think on the 29th of february in 2020 no 2000 yeah yeah, 2020, so it's been a long, long time since fans have been in Valley Parade. Obviously, we had a few friendlies. You know, it is what it is, really. At the end of the day, I don't think many people could be bothered because I wanted to save it for today. It's probably going to be a bit of an emotional day for everybody who is going. There's going to be about 17,000 fans in there today. All of them, I think they've sold out their 1,200 uh, allocation as well, which is pretty decent from them. We've also got the new atmosphere section in the northwest corner, so fingers crossed they can get behind the boys. Obviously, I'm still in my usual seat with my granddad, and Chloe's going to be sat next to me this season. So, yeah, make sure you drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you are new as well. In terms of the score prediction, I'm going to go with 3 1 to Bradford, and let's get on to today's video. <laughs> That's right. Oh, next one To be fair, yeah, the bra fell on the very loud as well. Fair play to Alden. Come on, see. There we go. Oh, Everyone's fuming at him. That was 
and then throwing punches and poor families and children. Come on. Well, what a game that was. We took the lead through the angle. It's a good strike, but to be honest with you, the keeper should probably save it. We had so many chances as well to get a second goal. All of them then in the 92nd minute with one of their first real chances of the game. Stick it in the back of the net. The away end goes absolutely crazy. The pyros go off. There's fans on the pitch. Fair play to all of them. You know, their support today. You, you cannot discredit them. They are some of the best away fans in this league from what I've seen at Valley Parade. They were absolutely fantastic. And then in the 96th minute, we were Win a penalty, 98th minute, Leango converts it. It's at, well, I mean, it's, it's in the family stand, so it wasn't really limbs, but then Oldham fans went into the Midland Road end for the home fans and started throwing punches at our fans, which I thought was a little bit unnecessary, to be honest. I get that they're frustrated and annoyed or whatever, but take it out on families and stuff like that was a little bit, uh, yeah, not, not the greatest from them, but apart from them people that did that, you know, Oldham fans are absolutely fantastic, so credit to them, but. I don't think we played really good at all today. I thought we were honestly quite poor. Granted, we are missing probably four of our best players out for injury, so I thought we did all right considering them circumstances. We'll have a few of them back for Tuesday night as well, where we've got Stevenage at home. So make sure you get uh, your post notification bell on so you don't miss that vlog then. But that is where I am. I'm going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like as always will be massively appreciated. Can we try and hit 150 likes on today's video? That would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could subscribe, that would be massively, massively appreciated. You know, we're now sitting sixth in the league, I think. Only two points off the top. I mean, we were two games and it doesn't really mean anything. But have a great rest of your day and I shall see you all Tuesday for the Stevenage at home vlog. Peace.